welcome or welcome back to this ultimate project recap video I hope you enjoy well this time we decided that we're going to do a custom pergola and we're going to be purchasing the grids from I believe the name is called Toja grid T-O-J-A grid and I'm on the website now and we measured out our patio the dimensions and we found that a 10 foot by 18 foot pergola double pergola is going to be the best um, option for us so I'm on this site and I'm placing my order you know as I sit here and record this video um, so we are going to be purchasing the grids from this company and then we're going to be getting the lumber from a local um, lumber mill um, in our area now this company I found um, from just researching on YouTube, watching some videos of some other creators um, building the pergola. And it seems like their grids are really sturdy and it's gonna be a really easy DIY project that my husband, Alex, and myself can all do together. Um, and I think it's gonna be amazing. So I'm really excited to be able to um, have this as our first project that we're gonna be doing for this spring. So I'm just showing you some images. This is basically how our layout is going to be. One is a full pergola, but one side has is an 8 by 10 and the other one is a 10 by 10. And basically it has two um, sails on the top and I'm choosing um, white because I think it'll be the best to stand up to the fading of the sun and the size is going to be perfect for our patio and i'm super excited to be able to have this out on our patio so that we can just enjoy the space all you know season long from spring all the way to summer to fall without having like any issues with um, not having enough coverage so now that we have that squared away i'm just going to give you guys an overview of how our property is looking So I'm just going to show you um, the front of our house, just all of you know the debris that has collected that we have to clean out, um, how our grass is doing, um, how the beds are looking before you know things start blooming into spring. Hello there, I want to introduce myself. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome you to my channel. I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you leave me a comment down below introducing yourself so I can personally welcome you. We're just gonna take the pathway to the backyard. Fair warning, my backyard is a hot mess. I did not do everything that I needed to do back here. The hostas, you know, died off. I didn't pull them out. I did not cut back the grass. The first snowfall came a little too quickly for me and I wasn't able to do everything that I needed to do. So we're gonna have a lot of spring cleanup that we have to do. So I'm just giving you a quick overview 
of how we're looking back here, how the grass is looking, all of the debris and items that I didn't put away. This is real life people. So if you're not able to do, you know, everything that is needed before winter, you have it in the same state and you just have to, you know, pick up the pieces in spring. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. But I'm super excited, as I said, all the projects that we're gonna be doing in the backyard. Um, we're also going to be getting a sectional to go on the pergola. And we're gonna be moving the large table um, that we used to have on the left-hand side when you face the um, yard. We're gonna be moving that to another area, seating area on the side of our house. And we're gonna be able to um, incorporate in a new um, sectional um, that will be, you know, really easy for us to just hang out with friends, you know, and family over um, the summer. So I'm super excited. So welcome back everyone we are back on our patio and this is our second attempt and we are having an amazing time as you can see my husband was super excited with us putting the wood inside of the garage and let it acclimate and dry out that the brackets were just sliding on very easily now we do have to still plane some of them, but with the planer, it made this job so much easier. So my first suggestion for this build is if you're doing one of these DIY pergolas, make sure that you have a planer. And I'm gonna show a picture shortly of the planer that we um, purchased. It's from Home Depot and I think it was only about $40. And I'm telling you, it is worth the purchase. So I announced in my last video that I was working on building my website. So it is live now. So check it out. It is daphneshomescape.com. So I hope that you guys will stop by and enjoy. Okay, so this board right here needs to be planed. We're only getting it in about a third of the way. So we're going to use our planer. We're just gonna plane it down so that we can get it into it. I just want to introduce myself to anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome you to my channel and I want to welcome back all of my loyal subscribers. Anyone that hasn't subscribed yet, I hope that you subscribe by the end of this video and join our community.
so we slipped up here and we were working harder than we needed to so in a second we realized that we need to start having gravity work in our best interest so we are going to take off this section which is the 8 by 10 section of the uh, pergola we turned it over and it made it so much easier to be able to slide the posts into the brackets and then we just went in and we did a couple more um, planing to just be able to make that wood just slide so easily into the brackets and at this point my husband is like a pro at planing down um, these boards and Alex is just having so much fun doing you know skip hop you know around the boards and we're just having a good time um, this weekend actually it wasn't warm but it wasn't terribly like bitterly cold that we couldn't be out here so it was the perfect time for us to just be out in the yard So as you can see, we're super excited of what we were able to accomplish. And that was the end of day one. This is the starting of day two. Um, my husband Marino is out early and we did have um, lights uh, that we had strung across the patio. Um, we had two sections, which worked very well for us. But now that we're gonna be having the pergola, we're able to install the lights um, around in the pergola. And then he's also going to keep this one section of wire and continue the lights um, onto the grass. Um, but for now, um, we're just getting ready because we are gonna be having um, extra help with um, hoisting the top of the pergola up so that we can just put the footers on. So right now, um, my husband is just securing all of the brackets and he also was working so quick. He attached all of the corner um, sail brackets. So I'm just showing you a quick image. You have to attach all of the sail brackets first. And then once you have that attached, then you go in and you measure um, the different sections of the middle brackets to be able to attach the sail. And then you just pull it really taut and then your sail is attached. So I'm just gonna let my husband show you guys um, the process. So to complete this build, the only two tools that I would suggest is the planer and also an impact driver. My husband said that this is better than just your standard drill because it gives it a nice amount of torque and power and you're able to um, you know, fly through it. But if you do just have a drill, the drill will do, um, you know, do just as fine. But if you have an impact driver, definitely use that. All right, so the reinforcements have come. Um, my brother-in-law and my nephew are here to help us. We needed the extra help. Um, I do suggest if you're doing this um, that you need about five to six people, depending on the size of your pergola. We have a 10 by 18. So this is a large structure. So you need roughly about you know five to six people to be able to lift it up. So they're here to help us and you can just watch the process. We basically just tipped it. We attached the post and then we went to the other side and we hosted it up. Um, the two that were lifting um, then went up on two ladders. They were able to lift it up a little higher so that we can go in and add on all of the posts. It was really easy um, to be able to do. You just need to make sure that you have the manpower to be able to lift the structure. 
And that's my nephew Tyson showing his personality. He's also going to be dancing and entertaining shortly. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So I absolutely love that I picked the white sail. It's gonna look absolutely amazing. Now, now I'm in the process of picking the stain. I'm in between doing a gray or a black. So now we're just attach, reattaching um, the lights. This time it's so much easier because we don't have to use the wire to be able to string it across. We can just drill it into the structure and it looks amazing. I'm definitely going to make sure that I input a nighttime um, shot in this video so that you can see how it looks at night. And then, um, you know, next time, we will be decorating the patio so i'm super excited to be able to show you everything you know that we're able to do with the deck for this season so i hope that you guys enjoyed i hope that you know if you're going to do a project like this that these tips are helpful And as you guys can see, this is a sneak peek to the reveal. We're gonna get started with cleaning off the patio. As you remember, in our last video, we did the complete of the DIY patio uh, pergola build. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm just gonna leave it in the description so you can check it out. Um, I have um, started to do the staining. As you can see, the posts have been stained. It's a slate, um, semi-transparent uh, bare uh, stain and I absolutely love it. Um, we have it completed doing the top portion of the staining because the weather in my area has been very unpleasant this past week. It's been very windy and very cold. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to complete this patio uh, refresh but um, I wasn't able to complete it as quickly as I thought I would. Um, so I'm actually doing this voiceover today on Friday. 
the day that I'm going to be releasing um, this video. Um, so I will not have a night uh, view for you, but I will be updating, I think, the thumbnail with a nighttime uh, reveal so that you'll be able to see how it looks. Um, so we're just sweeping off uh, the patio and then we're going to get started. Um, the bubbles are so funny. I was over there and I was uh, get, gathering the rugs because I'm about to clean them and I did not know what that was that was blowing by my feet. So I was really surprised that it was the bubbles from, from the water. So I'm just sweeping it off. As I said, it's really cold outside, so I'm not gonna be doing the power washer. So we're just going to be doing it the old fashioned way with a bucket of soapy water and a broom. And I'm just going to clean off these uh, rugs and then we're gonna get started with decorating. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome anyone that clicked on my video for the first time today. Welcome. And to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. To anyone that is hearing my voice for the first time, I just want to welcome you. If you do enjoy this video, that you will subscribe to the channel and join my YouTube community. We consider ourselves family on this channel. We have amazing conversations in the comment section. So if you are new, please introduce yourself so that we can welcome you to the community. So because this is a new channel for me, I just wanted to just update everyone so that you can, you know, get an idea of when I'll be uploading. So I think I'm going to upload two long videos per week and two short videos per week. So the shorts are going to be uh, on Tuesday and Thursday and the long videos are going to be on Wednesday and Friday. So again, if you're not um, subscribed, I hope that you subscribe so that you can come back and join and enjoy all of the outdoor content that I'm going to be putting out. And also make sure that you put your notification bell on so that you'll be notified each time I upload. And again, I just want to thank you so much for stopping by and, you know, showing your support. And I hope that you absolutely love this makeover. So this is just an overview of the two seating um, areas and how I set it up with the round table here and then walking over into the conversational um, area. I think that it, you know, it looks really nice on the patio, it gives us enough space and um, a separation. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the couple of items that we're going to be using outside trying to keep it very like neutral outside and let the landscape really like speak for itself. So I am going to be setting the table. Um, at least I have plates. I think I'm gonna stack them and I might put like some uh, glasses. I have a Lazy Susan like tiered um, tray that I'm gonna be using. I have a throw 
I have a plant stand there. I think I'm gonna take that full greenery out and just use it um, as a plant stand. I have this huge lantern here and then the other two DIY um, lanterns that I created during Christmas. And I have this basket that I love that I'm going to put one of my potted plants in. And then I have two pillows over here. I have an additional two that I'm gonna bring out as well to be able to work in the seating area. So this is everything that we're working with so far. It is very windy outside or I would have been talking outside, but it has been a challenge to be able to film outside this week. So we will get started. Okay guys, so this is the next morning. It's actually Friday morning, um, the day that I am going to be releasing this video. Um, I tried two other times to be able to stage um, the patio, but the wind was so strong. As you can see, the furniture that I had put out last evening had, was blown over. So we're just going to get started this morning with just replacing the furniture. So today is a much uh, less windy day, so we are going to start the decorating uh, this morning. So these are the some of the items that I'm going to be decorating with. So I just brought them out here on the patio, and we're going to get started. I'm very curious to learn how the weather is in your area, so leave me a comment down below. And this time for spring, I'm just trying to keep it very neutral, but cozy. So I'm adding in my throws, my pillows, lots of candles, and just a little greenery because it is a little chilly. And over here on the table, I purchased this Lazy Susan, which is a two tier, but I decided to just use one tier um, on the table. And I'm just setting the table with these beautiful terracotta plates and a white napkin. And then we're gonna go in with a bunch of different candles here on the centerpiece so that we can just make it very cozy. So over here on the cat conversational side of the patio, I just have three groupings of lanterns. The two wooden ones I actually created um, as a DIY during the Christmas season. 
And then the third one I purchased at HomeSense and I think they look absolutely beautiful together. And we're at the end. I am just going to be showing the before again and then we are going to enjoy the after. I hope that everyone enjoys this video and I want to thank everyone for joining me today on this patio refresh. Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. I am chilling out in this comfortable spot here on this new sectional that I was gifted from Cozius. Okay, so we're getting started. This is how the patio is looking. This was the cute little conversation area that I was able to create with uh, some older chairs that we had. And today is the day that we are adding in a beautiful sectional. So let's get started. So once I get everything cleared out the way, I'm just going to do some light cleaning, just sweeping up the space. And then I'm going to bring over the boxes and we're going to unbox this amazing sectional. I would like to introduce myself if this is the first time that you clicked on my video today welcome I do appreciate you stopping by and I hope that you enjoy my content I also would like to welcome back all of my loyal subscribers you know that I love you and I enjoy bringing new content to you each and every week and I hope that everyone enjoys this video today because I truly enjoyed making it for you guys Thank you. 
So I put all of the other pieces together as well. And now that I have everything assembled, I'm just going to be using these little clips that they supplied to be able to attach all three pieces together. I opted not to attach the ottoman because I like to be able to move it around freely. Um, but it is absolutely amazing. Um, what I also like about this sectional is the cushions. The cushions are super sturdy and they're made of like a high density foam and the cushion covers are water resistant so it holds up to a light rain and then also if you drop anything on it it beads up on the surface so that you're able to just wipe it right away. So when I was unboxing the sectional originally, I was shocked. I did not know that it came with a cover. So I was super excited about that. So last night before we went to bed, we just covered it up. And we do this every night because I like to just keep it um, you know, free of any type of pollen or anything. And then in the morning, I take it off and I usually sit out here and have like coffee and um, eat breakfast and we just relax especially myself in the morning I usually do that after I drop Alex off at school and on this day is day two so I'm now going to be going in and just giving a little light cleaning and then doing the final decorations so I hope that you guys enjoy the next process So if this is your first time by, I just want to let you know I am having a ball with all of my outdoor content that I've been sharing um, for the last month or so. It has been amazing to be able to get my property into shape and share it with you guys each and every week. So if you haven't checked out my past videos, I will be having the playlist linked in the description. I've shared about seven or eight outdoor videos already and I plan to be sharing much more. We're gonna be getting more into doing a veggie garden, planting, and just overall maintenance of the area. So I hope that you guys continue on watching and enjoying my journey.
So I just picked up a couple of items from Home Goods the last time that I was there. I picked up these wicker placemats for the round table, this amazing dough bowl candle. We're going to be using that wooden um, J, this box reef here, which I also got from Home Goods, and the Lazy Susan that we use in the spring um, decorate with me. So we're just going to be incorporating all of those items into the patio. I'm also going to be placing the two planters that I made in my last video. So we're just gonna bring everything all together and make it super cozy. So as I add the final touches, I'm just going to be showing you the before and then we're going to get into the after. So I hope that you guys enjoy and I hope that by this point you have subscribed and you will be joining me next week for another video. And here is the after. This is my little backyard oasis. And I hope that you guys enjoy all of these after images.
Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. So this is the area that we're going to be working on. This is on the right hand side of the house if you're facing the house. This has our barbecue. We built that slat wall several years ago and it actually has two planters at the bottom and two benches on the side. We did a DIY and actually that was probably one of the first DIYs that we did outside. We did that, we did a bench in the back which I showed you previously and then also the gardening box which I planted the uh, spinach in. So slowly we've been changing the stain over to the gray color the same as we stained the pergola. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we are going to be just cleaning up this area. It has been an area that has been collecting a lot of junk. You know, as I finish different areas, I've just been moving it over. So we're going to just go in and clean up everything here. And then we're also going to start on removing a lot of this ivy. Now, I mentioned previously that my neighbor has a bunch of ivy on their side. Well, if you see up towards the wall itself, all of that ivy that's coming over the fence is from my neighbor's side. So every so often I have to go in and remove all of that ivy, but it is a huge project. And to be honest, I don't do it as often as I should. So we're just gonna start on a small portion today. And then in a later video, I'll share more with you but it is a big project, you know, that I have to make sure that I tackle. I like to introduce myself to anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today. My name is Daphne and I want to welcome you to my channel. To all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on another video.
this happened to be this past weekend when I was able to apply all of the stain. Other than that, this whole past week, all the way up until today, is the only day that it was not raining. So I was racing against time. I was working, you know, at the in the evenings to be able to finish up this video for you. I actually did a second coat of the staining, which I did not film, but it did get a second coat. So I'm just giving you a close up look of the planter which we're gonna be refreshing with new potting soil. And we're gonna be putting in a super tunia from Proven Winners. And we're also going to putting in some fertilizer and we're gonna to top it off with a little mulch. Now this little spot is my favorite area. I'm able to sit out here. I'm gonna show you a clip in a little while of me just relaxing and taking in the morning so I can sit over here, I can sit on the patio. I have so many different little areas that I can sit, up, sit in and take advantage of the beautiful uh, space that we've been creating out here. So this is the next night after work. I decided that I was going to plant up some of these uh, canna lilies, which honestly I have forgotten about. Going in and hopefully I did not kill these. I'm going to just take out a patch of them and plant them in the planter. So because I'm doing this after I had already planted the super tunias, I'm just going to be moving the super tunias up a little and we're going to be putting these tubers in towards the back. 
and hopefully we're gonna cross our fingers and hopefully they will bloom and they will be absolutely beautiful the way that they have been the past several years. So I just wanted to share with you guys, um, today I decided um, since we got a break in the weather that I was going to hang these planters that I had purchased at Amazon. Soon I will be putting like little herb plants in here, but for now we're just putting the planters out and we're going to think about, you know, what type of herbs that we're going to uh, put into them. I'm just giving you a close up look of the brackets. They hold so well to the wall and then they came with these uh, four inch uh, planters that we're just going to pop in. I am all about finding a nice, peaceful, quiet area to just be able to just zone out in my backyard. I hope that you're the same way and that you enjoy your space as well. Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. So I want to introduce myself. My name is Daphne. To anyone that clicked on my video for the first time today, I want to welcome you. So we're just getting started giving this bar cart a nice clean. I purchased this over five years ago at the Christmas tree shop and it has been holding up very well outside. I don't have to cover it at all. I love the fact that it has the uh, galvanized metal top. It works wonders. This is full metal. Um, so we're just hosing it you know, down after I finished wiping it off. I was cleaning it with a little dish soap. Once we dry this off, we're going to um, put it in the area where the seating um, arrangements, and we are gonna have a good time. I always love setting up this bar cart, especially when we're gonna be having guests. So I am just going to wipe it down, and then we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you everything that I have to be decorating with. So my idea of a summer outdoor bar cart is functionality. So that's what I do when I try to style it. I try not to go overboard. I picked up um, this three pack of towels at Home Goods. It was for $9.99. 
They're absolutely beautiful. I love the muted tones. I also love the fact that they have a faux leather hook so that if you're using them in other areas, you can just hang it by that hook. In my case, I'm just gonna style it on the cart flat. Um, another item is this uh, cutting board, which I shared previously. It was a find that I found last fall at Christmas Tree Shop, along with the tray that I'm pointing at. They were both very reasonable, and I shared them in a shop with me um, last fall. Um, you saw me prepare these uh, arrangements. We're going to be using that on the bar cart as well. I love to have flowers, as everyone knows. I've been doing tons of gardening, but I love picking up plants, flowers at Trader Joe's. I also have that pineapple sparkling beverage, which I've never tried before, but it's absolutely delicious. I have these blood orange Italian sodas, which the packaging looks amazing and they taste amazing as well. I got this little um, mango, mango Cena, which I have shared previously. Um, I love drinking that. It's just a nice, um, cool beverage to be able to have outside. And then I picked up some really cute, this one is an outdoor uh, cup. It's uh, amazing for outside. You don't have to worry about it, you know, breaking. And then I also got a set of these glass recycled um, jars, which I love. I'm gonna be using them indoors and outdoors. So leave me a comment down below. Do you have a bar cart or a designated beverage area that you have in your outdoor space? If so, how do you stock it? Do you stock it with you know different types of juices, sodas, sparkling, spirits? Leave me a comment down below. Also, if you have any good drink ideas, leave that as well. So I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. So if you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be sharing a daytime final reveal and also an evening. So I hope that you enjoy. Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne and I truly want to welcome you to my channel. Um, this is a follow-up video to our last video which was uh, released on Wednesday which was a patio uh, barbecue DIY update. 
that is the area that's right over my left shoulder that structure there we did a total makeover um, so if you haven't watched that video I'm gonna link it so that you can enjoy it today we're carrying on with the removal of all of this ivy that's coming from my neighbor's yard we're going to be re totally removing it and we're also going to be doing new seating area in this uh, section of my backyard so i'm super excited to be able to share it with you guys today Now you can see why I've been putting this off. It is a huge project, but I can't avoid it anymore. I'm gonna have to roll up my sleeves and get started. I just want to uh, thank everyone for clicking on this video today, for joining me on this journey. I wanna introduce myself. My name is Daphne. In case this is the first time that you're clicking on my channel and hearing my voice, I just wanna welcome you. And to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I do appreciate each and every time that you click on a video and I hope that you guys enjoy. Now, it is not perfect. I did not get down all the ivy that I wanted to, but I put a big dent in it. So what I did just realize is as I was taking down all the ivy, that the bamboo fencing, you know, that we put up as a quick fix years ago, now needs to be replaced. Now, each one of these panels were close to like $50 per panel. So it's a big expense to be taking again, especially when we see that it's not gonna last that long. So I'm thinking that I'm going to switch over to a different option. Um, I did a little research on Amazon and just online in general, and I decided to get a fabric covering, which will be a temporary fix. 
and then I think in the fall we're going to talk to our neighbors next door we're going to take down this fence and we're just going to either do vinyl fencing or some type of wood fencing but for now we're just going to make it look as good as it can and in the fall we'll take care of a more permanent solution One of the main reasons why I wanted to work on this side of the yard is because I wanted to just set up another little seating area that I can enjoy. I can come out and just, you know, sit, relax, maybe edit some videos, read a book. It's just another little cozy spot. So we have these two Adirondack chairs that we've had for several years. I think we picked them up originally at Costco's. They're composite wood, so they clean up very well. I'm just using a little um, dish soap and water, and I'm using a stiff brush, and I'm also going to use like a, a hard surface to just scrape off a little of the sap that comes down from the tree above. But these, ch these chairs clean up so well after just giving it just a little attention with a little dish soap.
So now I'm looking at the mulch area and I'm really contemplating switching over to rubber, rubber mulch. And actually right after I finished for this day, I decided to go to Lowe's and see if I'm able to get any rubber mulch. And I was able to get it. And you're gonna see in a little while, I'm gonna be putting down some black rubber mulch. And I think that it looks amazing. Leave me a comment down below once you see it applied if you like uh, rubber mulch. If you've ever used it before, this is the first time that I've ever used it. We usually do a wood mulch and I usually do it in brown. And then one year we did pine straw, but this is the first time that we're gonna do rubber mulch. And I'm super excited to be able to have it in the landscape. So this is my new little seating area that I have nestled underneath these huge trees. Leave me a comment down below if you have any little hiding spots in your backyard. So for tonight, we are just uh, working on this little center area because I did run out of landscape fabric. So I just used two uh, plastic bags in the back, which I changed out later. But I just wanted to just get an idea of how the mulch was going to look with the black rubber mulch and with the chair on top of it so that I can make sure, you know, that I definitely wanted to switch it over because I did have to buy about close to 30 bags of this mulch and it happened to be um, on sale at Lowe's I think it was like a 550 uh, per bag um, so I just wanted to make sure tonight that I loved it before I purchase more of the mulch
so as I'm putting it up I am second guessing myself but I did let it sit up overnight and a lot of the wrinkles stretched out and it is just a temporary fix and it looks a lot better than how it was so we are going to go with this and we're going to be happy about it. And this is my favorite little spot. As you can see, I can pull out the end of the Adirondack chairs and put my feet up and relax. Hello there and welcome back. Today we are continuing on to update this bar cart. I'm just showing you some images of the rust that I have on this bar cart. We're going to be breathing fresh air into this bar cart. But first, before we can start with that, we have to clean it. So let's get to scrubbing. I'd like to introduce myself to anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today. Welcome, my name is Daphne. I wanna welcome you to my channel. I'm so glad that you clicked on my video today and I hope that you enjoy. And to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. So there were about four uh, screws on the bottom of this galvanized top, which I took off. Actually, my husband took off, but for some reason, I still could not get the top off. So we just covered it with a little uh, plastic bag and we're gonna be bringing this onto the lawn so that I can spray it. And I'm using uh, a satin black spray paint, um, the Krylon brand, and I'm just gonna give it actually wound up giving it three coats to just make sure that it has really nice coverage. I'm only showing you one of the coats, but I did go in three times um, to make sure that it has good coverage. And we're also going to be working on a lantern, which we're going to be sprucing up as well. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love spraying things with black spray paint, whether it's flat or satin finish, like how I'm doing here on this bar cart, but it looks amazing once it's done.
So now that we have everything painted, we're just gonna stage it. And this is how it's looking at the end. So now that we've updated the bar car, now we're going to add on an additional area, a bar car table. And this is a blue uh, patio cool bar table that was sent over to me. And I'm going to be adding this to the patio. So I'm super excited to be able to just have a little extra, you know, table space for when we're entertaining here on the patio. So it's really easy to be able to assemble. I'm just taking it out of the box. I'm just gonna put the legs on it and then we are going to open it up and we're gonna fill it full of cool beverages and then we're gonna enjoy. Hello there, welcome or welcome back. So I wanna introduce myself. My name is Daphne. To anyone that's new, that's hearing my voice for the first time today, I wanna to welcome you to my channel and I hope that you enjoy this video. We're out here on the patio and we're just going to be doing a quick refresh. Okay, so I'm just gonna share what I picked up. Um, they're not too many items. Um, the first is this really mustardy color cable knit uh, throw that I got from Ikea. It's absolutely beautiful. It is gonna look so amazing um, on the patio uh, sectional. I have these dried flowers that I picked up at Joann's um, last year and this little bud vase that I got at Amazon. And then I have these terracotta plates, which I've used previously. We're gonna stage them on the patio table. And then I also picked up these melamine hearth and hand um, cups that I picked up at Target. They were for $9.99. I picked them up, uh, I think about two weeks ago. And we also have these uh, striped napkins, which are gonna go really well with these striped black and white pillows that I'm gonna have on the sectional. Just trying to marry the two spaces together. 
I'm also going to be using this round uh, bottom piece of the Lazy Susan. I'm going to fill it with some apples to just warm it up. I also have this wooden vase that I used to use in my entryway. We're going to use that on the patio table. And I'm also using this whitewashed uh, tray to just have the little collection um, on the uh, table. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you truly enjoyed this marathon video. And I truly appreciate your time that you spent with me today. And I just wanted to say, have a blessed day.